back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be building and reviewing set 75267, the Mandalorian Battle Pack. This battle pack is really small and comes with four Mandalorians. And I will get to my opinion about this set in the review, but the first thing we have to do is quickly look over the box art. So this is Lego set 75267, and it's for 6 plus, so pretty small kids can build this. It comes with 102 pieces, so not that many pieces, obviously. It's usual Lego Star Wars box art, but I don't know why they didn't put the Mandalorian at the top. Lego is getting really lazy about getting all of their um, boxes looking the same, so that's kind of unfortunate there. Then around back, you're just going to see uh, all the Mandalorians kind of talking and loading up the stud shooters, which... I have an opinion on the stud shooters. Obviously, there's just looks like they're just displaying one um, um, play feature right there, and then at the top, there's um, just a Mandalorian. So, yeah, I say we pop this thing open. So, obviously, it just comes with one mere thumb tab since it obviously wasn't big enough to get tape. So, we'll just pop through that and then open this like so. And we'll pour out what's inside. Here's the instruction manual. Wow, that's a pretty small instruction manual. Still Darth Vader at the top, and you also get, um, seems like two bags, but only, uh, yeah, uh, they're not labeled, because you don't really need them to be labeled. So, yeah, I say we build this thing up. So I think the way I'm going to do the minifigures is I'm going to show you my most favorite minifigure to my least favorite minifigure. So she is my mo most favorite minifigure. I know she is a she because she has this kind of indent on that top visor up there, which looks pretty cool. She obviously comes with a stud shooter. Not a big fan of stud shooters. They just look bulky and ugly. So if you wanted to build an uh, army of these, I would probably recommend getting your own guns, but that would be kind of hard. So that's kind of a reason that this isn't a great battle pack. But she has some very nice green and metallic printing there. Her helmet is molded in green. Um, she has this nice brown um, cape with some other back printing under there, which is just green stuff. And then if you want to officially make her correct, you would have to put that visor on top there. Or I mean, no, no, that's a range finder, not a visor. But you can put whatever you want on top there, or you can just leave it off. I decided to just build it how it is for the review, but I might change it later. Anyway, there is also a black hen under there to just show you so would have liked more of a female face under there or really any other face but you know they decided to do a black head and that is okay so let's get into our next minifigure my second favorite minifigure is this turquoise dude he obviously just has a nice turquoise helmet they officially don't tell you to put any sort of visor or rangefinder on there which is okay he obviously has a stud shooter he kind of has this pecan green cape with some very nice back printing, which is just turquoise back printing. I think all the printing on here is basically the same, like you're gonna have like, it's just recolored I think is what they did, which is perfectly fine. I actually really like this guy, he's my second favorite. So my second to last favorite minifigure is this Mandalorian. She's obviously a female because she has that same helmet as the other one. Her helmet is molded in light gray, which looks pretty good. She comes, or they officially tell you to put a range finder on there. Um, she has some very nice metallic printing for the chest plates there. There's a little bit of sp um, uh, skirt printed on the legs there, which the legs are actually sand blue, I believe. Obviously has her terrible um, stud shooter. Her arms are also sand blue. Her cape is black, and she has some very nice metallic back printing there, which looks pretty good. 
round front. She has some very nice printing. And yeah, let's get into the last minifigure. So my least favorite minifigure is this one, mainly because they decided to not give him leg printing. He would have looked really cool with leg printing, but they didn't give him any. His helmet is obviously orange with some very nice um, battle damage on there. You can see some kind of like, like, I don't know, metal sticking through. Stud shooter. He has a brown cape. <clears throat> brown cape. And then back printing. They did to give him back printing. I almost would have rather had the leg printing than the back printing. Anyway, those are all the minifigures. So now we can look at the builds of this set. So you get two very small builds in the set, which are actually pretty decent for how small they are. So this set is heavily based off of the 2011 version, I think, of the Mandalorian Battle Pack. And I'll tell you at the end of the video why that one was a better battle pack. Let's first start off with the spear. So obviously the speeder has these two fins at the front, which are kind of tannish. There's this kind of light at the front there too, which looks pretty good. Obviously these stud shooters are very bulky and ugly, I think. There's a slope piece at the front there just to add a more sleek look of this. On the side, there's some more like kind of detailing and texture, a little ventilation right there. Then there's this thrust at the back, which is just like a red cone piece, translucent. And then on the back, there are these other two slope pieces, two different colors, probably because this is supposed to be like barrel damaged or kind of just the paint is scraped off. You can also see a single minifigure in the seat there. There's an extra stud at the end there to put his cape, I assume, or something like that. He can clamp his hands down onto the handlebar, but if you try to pull your minifigure up, let's see how well this works. Yeah, I think you're gonna pull off the whole handlebar. So, on the, I know on the Mandalore, or I mean the Bible First Battle Pack, they were able to make the handlebars more stuck in there, but fortunately this one, they just pull off. It's not too big of a deal, because you can just pull it off, but let's look at the rock or thingamabobber over here. So there's just a lot of slope pieces and cheese slopes on here to form some really cool rockin' rocks. So I think this Mandalorian is kind of just like hiding in the rocks and shooting people down. You can um, stick their stud shooter in there, just a single jumper piece, which is brown. Then there's this also this clip back here, which is maybe for the um, for the stud shooter, but I don't know why they would give you that since they already gave you a place to put that. But you can put, uh, there's a little bit of room back there. You can just put one minifigure. And yeah, those are the builds of the set, so now I'll just give you my final thoughts. So this is a good Lego set, period. Not a great battle pack. And the reason for this is because you're getting four completely different Mandalorians. Now they are Mandalorians, which is um, one similarity, but other than that, they really aren't similar in any way. And usually armies are lots of battle droids, all the battle droids are the same, or five first troopers, all five first troopers are the same, but in a Mandalorian army, I would assume them to all be the same. So the 2011, at least I think it was from 2011, Mandalorian set included all four um, exactly the same Mandalorian, which I think is a better army than a Mandalorian of say, like 400 or 100 of these, 100 of those, 100 of those, that was if you bought 100, but I just think it would look a little more uniform if they were all the same. Now, if you want four really good looking Mandalorians, then definitely buy the set. You're getting, you're paying $15, for um, very good um, minifigures. So on Amazon, I think this was a little cheaper, like 12 to 13, but yeah. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like, also subscribe to the channel, and I will see you later.